And Mary McHale faced many obstacles on her journey to becoming a mum. She documents her battle with fibroids, endometriosis, infertility, miscarriage, IVF and surrogacy in her new book, Mission to Motherhood. And Mary joins us now to share her story. Welcome to the cafe. Thank you so much for having me. It's lovely to have you here. Let's hear a little bit about yourself first. So you're originally from Canada. What brought you to New Zealand? Yep, so I'm originally from Canada and um, 12 years ago I graduated from veterinary school in Canada and I got a job out of school in New Zealand. Um, so I was coming over here for a year to do um, horse practice and uh, that turned into 12 years. So I'm still here. I have two kids in a house and a partner and yeah. caring for the horses. <laughs> yeah. Well, and it's great to have you here because, you know, you sharing your story is going to mean a lot to a lot of mums and dads around the country. When did your struggles with infertility start? Um, well, really, I'd had issues right from the get-go when I got my period. Um, I had really heavy periods right from the start, but you don't know what's normal and what's not normal when you're a young teenager. So I just battled with that. Um, and then in my early 20s, I was diagnosed with fibroids. Uh, so I had a few surgeries to remove the fibroids and then in my early 30s I was diagnosed with endometriosis and that's really where the infertility journey started because I was told you know um, endometriosis is one of the leading causes of infertility in women and so I really had to start thinking about my fertility at that stage. So you've, you've gone through a lot just to even get to that stage um, and at one stage you did manage to fall pregnant via IVF didn't you but then you miscarried. Yeah so I I had quite a few rounds of IVF um, and um, failure after failure and then finally on the seventh um, try I got pregnant and obviously that was an incredible time for me and I was overjoyed. Uh, and the pregnancy seemed to be going along okay. I had a 12 week scan and everything looked fine and I sort of felt relief at that time because you know you're told that's the, the mark yeah. to get yeah. to. And it's when you start telling people, isn't totally, it? Totally, yeah. yeah. And then three days later, I, I miscarried without any warning. So it was a complete shock, yeah. yeah. Devastating, I could imagine. Okay, after your miscarriage, you were told falling pregnant was not an option. Also, adoption, was that not an option for you? I did look into adoption, and um, uh, at the time, it was SIFS, uh, called SIFS, and I went to their meetings. and. Um, I just realized that uh, they were really pushing something called home for life and uh, you know the birth parents would still have uh, some involvement with um, the child that I would potentially adopt and for me I just didn't feel like it was the right mm -hmm. model for yeah. me. Yeah. So when did surrogacy become something that you were seriously considering? Well I after the miscarriage um, I just didn't know where to start really um, and I knew I wanted to become a mother and I really felt like I was going to be a mother I just didn't know how to get there and so the the word surrogacy had been mentioned to me but in New Zealand you just don't hear that much about it yeah, true. so I didn't even know where to start um, the fertility clinic gave me some information but unfortunately um, in New Zealand you need someone close to you um, to be your surrogate. There's no uh, agencies that help you connect with somebody and mm. you know not being from here and not having any relatives or cousins, sister, nothing like that and my friends were just going through their own, making their own families at the mm. time yeah. so they weren't in the right place to help. So you still went down that road though didn't you for about a year jumping through hoops? Yeah so amazingly an acquaintance of mine offered um, to be our surrogate and we went through a year of all the hoop jumping necessary to get to the point where you can actually um, have an embryo transfer here and uh, we did have one embryo transfer and unfortunately it didn't um, work and then she decided for various reasons that she couldn't continue in that role so we lost her. When you're going through these travels and I've had friends that have gone through this as well you know, I've noticed people never give up what keeps you going? I think I just always knew I'd be a mom. Wow. Like it wasn't a decision. It was just like this is my future and this is the path and I couldn't imagine my life without children. Mm. So there was no option to stop really. And you are a mom now. Yeah. Two children via yeah. surrogacy, yeah. which is fantastic. But yeah. you had to go to Canada to make it happen. How yeah. tell me about that. Well, I, after our surrogate here decided she couldn't continue, um, I started looking to Canada, obviously, because that's my home country. And the, um, the whole process just seems so much easier over there. It's not as foreign a concept, and there's legislation, and 
you know, you, you can talk to people about it and they know, you know, they can give you advice. And so actually by amazing um, luck, we managed through a few connections to find a surrogate who just immediately said, yes, we'll do this for you. So clearly in New Zealand, we need to change some of the surrogacy laws. What do you think? Yeah. Oh, yes. I... What should we do? Oh. I don't <laughs> know, I don't, how long do you have? I don't think we've got long enough for that, <laughs> yeah. actually. Yeah. <laughs> but I tell you what, is there one thing that you change? Um, I would definitely um, create surrogacy legislation here that's independent mm. um, because at the moment it's sort of pieced together under three different acts that, and it's not fit for purpose and there's lots of gaps and it leaves all the parties vulnerable. Right. Change the laws. Yeah, good on yeah. you for sharing a story, though. It's yeah, thanks so much. Um, help. A lot more conversation, I think, mm. around the subject. Amira's book, though, Mission to Motherhood, if you're interested, is available now from all good bookstores and via her publisher's website as well. Yeah, yeah thank and you so much. The publisher, just to mention, is Calico Publishing. Excellent. Thank you so much. <laughs>